Eclipse on the beat. All right, so we're going to get into the interview aspect of this whole thing with our guest here. I don't know, Coca that was Nina. fun. We really don't have to talk about me. You don't want to. Are you to. sure? Uh, no, no, I'm, no, just, no, I'm just joking. We definitely <laughs> get all the pain I need to business. talk all about me now. It's right? all about me, 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 me. It's damn right. Me, my, me, miss me, myself, and I. That is me. All right, so who's Coconina? Who is Coconina? Damn, yeah. I don't know. She's like five different people still. Sometimes she sings R and B. Sometimes she has like these Caribbean vibes. She likes to flow it. Sometimes she raps. And then there's a different kind of rap. You know what I'm saying? There's that hood rap, and then there's that like I'm my feelings rap. You know? <laughs> and then there's me. Are you crazy? We're all here. Very she too pretty. Streets are scary. Just be wary. I'm so very connected, like Tom and Jerry Brown and Beauty Holly Berry. I have like so many different vibes. I honestly just like. I guess I sing, I do songwriting for people, I do ghostwriting nice. for women and men. Let me nice. put that out there so that men, if you, if you need a song about bad bitches shaking ass and titties, I like strip clubs. I will go to a strip club and get the inspiration and I will write that song for you, fam. I got you. <laughs> don't even play with me. Because yeah, honestly, yeah, if it pays, then it stays in my pocket and we're with it and we're here and then, you know, we're blessed. That's so, the song. Yeah, like definitely. I like that. I like that. 100%. So you talked about uh, earlier that are uh, you i think behind the scenes that like, you grew up in uh western road the western road how yes. was that life western road to jana finch western road um finch. western road was good honestly i love western road western road is my ends like i just i always had bare friends there my best friend growing up she um had bare old she had like four siblings and like her two eldest sisters used to always have bare friends and shit they used to throw bear parties so like yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just always knew all the older heads, so mm -hmm. it was lit, because they were friends with everybody. So then we got to meet everybody, and we just always felt super safe in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And it was good. Like, I just always loved my ends. Like, I always, like, I still know everybody. If I go to the store, everyone's like, oh, my God, what's up? They're all calling out my fucking gubby and shit. <laughs> I'm like, fuck all you people. Yeah. It was my fucking government. Call me Nina. Are you crazy? Like, uh, what's yeah, wrong? So they, they treat you like you a know star what I mean? now? They, they're like, yeah. The store owner it's fucking annoying. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> you when you were back in the kitty? You know what I mean? It's funny. Think? Yeah, no, people actually, it's weird. Like, everywhere I go now, like, there's always a one person that spots me. And they're like, oh, my God. You know, like, I follow you on Instagram, and I, like, really love your music i'm like whoa like are you serious me are you sure because usually i have my mask on too you know what i'm saying i'm like wow you recognize me with my mask on there's no way out now like i, I have know. to like just be a fucking superstar because like <laughs> shit i'm stuck <laughs> you me. what's your fondest memory growing up in like western road what is my fondest memory growing up in western road i don't know i don't know i have so many memories like we used to all just play like manhunt manhunt was always fun when i was, a, was kid. a game back i used to day. love playing yeah, so manhunt um, it's kind of like tag but like there's jail yeah <laughs> oh, okay, okay okay you know and there's this one guy in the neighborhood that could hop all the way this high ass fence so it was just <laughs> always so interesting because sometimes he'd be on a roof or he'd be hopping a fence i caught him once in my backyard and he like broke a bunch of shit like we had to replace like all of our backyard <laughs> shit because this guy just broke fucking everything trying okay. to hop through our backyard <laughs> Like, I don't know, that game was just like, because when I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to play, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I was, like, younger, we used to watch the older kids, and we weren't oh, allowed yeah, to they, play. they wouldn't put you on. And then, like, when we were like, allowed to... Like, the older to, kids wouldn't let you play? Or they, just, they wouldn't like, let us play because okay. we were too young, we right, had to right. go inside when it got dark. Right, so, right, right, when right, right. it was a good game, we weren't allowed to play because we weren't allowed to be in the dark right. running through people's yards and shit, True, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay, I see that. But then, okay, then, when we were, like, 11, 10 years old, yeah. we were allowed to play, and man's were, like, it was just the most fun experience. Like, probably put me on a lot of bad stuff. I was like, yo, I like sneaking in people's property. This is lit. Right? Like, nobody knows I'm fucking <laughs> here right now, nigga. I'm mean, like looking in your window. I was such a bad kid. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, bitch, I'm 10 years old and I'm just out tonight. So you don't know. <laughs> Yes, those, those are the most fun times still because nowadays like i'm older and they're all like the mandem and they all like do shit it's funny so now i see them I'm, like call one of them up for loud i'm like yo fam y'all loud he's like yeah it's just funny like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> used to yeah. play manhunt you know <laughs> we used to play manhunt now we're so loud mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. that's what's up though Came up. that's good <laughs> yo so what were you listening to back in the day what was i listening to 
I'm only 21. Like back in the day when. Before you before you answer that question, just quick fast because I was watching an interview that you did do, and I know that you did say that you watched a lot of musicals because you didn't mm-hmm. like you know you had to grab your yeah. inspiration from somewhere. Okay. So was that like what? pushed you to music was it watching the musicals or was it just like honestly i just like i didn't have cable growing up we never mm-hmm. had cable in the house i used to be so mad i go to my friend's house they have cable i'm like fuck you <laughs> i used to be so upset <laughs> and then i go home and there's no cable there's just yeah. all these fucking cassettes you know what i'm yeah. saying so i have all these fucking big ass cassette things i'm like shit i guess i'm like you gotta put in the vcr yeah you know what i mean yeah so then i'm like watching this shit and like it was fucking like the sound of music because I'm like half British, right? So my grandparents nice. have all that stuff. And mm-hmm. like I grew up with my grandparents with their British accents and things. So that was mm-hmm. just like a big influence for me when I was small. And I was paying mm-hmm. a lot of attention to that stuff because like they were the people I really spent the most time with. Like right. my grandpa, we did everything together, you mm-hmm. know? Like me and my mom too, but like she'd go to work and shit. And then it'd be right. me and grandpa time, like mm-hmm. all, you know what I mean? So like yeah, I don't know. I just spent a, like I watched those like what is, what's the other one called? Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins was fire. Bro, some, some Mary Poppins music. That's the lady fire. when she was singing with the youth, then, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. I remember that. That's yeah. a Christmas music. You, you know they want to watch it at Christmas time. Sugar, yeah. help some medicine yes. go down. Mary Poppins, my hey, that's my yeah. song. Yeah, all yeah. of those, all the old school musicals are what's up. Yeah, I, I fuck with them. That's cool. Would and you do one now? Probably, honestly, yeah. My brother is a dancer in in oh, London, nice. England. And he did the Lion King national tour. Wow. And honestly, if I could do a musical and do a world tour like that, too, and get paid and just, like, sing and enjoy yeah. myself, Audition. It's I'm okay. down. Like, Audition. I got accepted to go to School of the Arts, but then my life took a different turn and I didn't end up going. So, like, I know I have the acting chops. Like, they literally accepted me on spot. I really need to go there, like, when I get, like, more time, you know? What Shit. happened, if you don't mind me asking? Just life. Mm-hmm. Life happens. So I had I had a lot of stuff going on. It was it wasn't the time. It was just you took you, know you, you mean? took a wrong you took you yeah. just picked B instead of A. It's okay. Yeah, there's just like so much stuff happening. Like multiple uh, choice. It fucks yeah. you up sometimes. You know, sometimes you just made you. It wasn't even answer. really an option at the time. Like okay. you know what I mean. There was just other stuff I had to deal with, and I mm-hmm. can't couldn't really like make. I couldn't even yeah I just couldn't even be out out there like that doing that type of shit so did that situation <laughs> mold you into the person that you're in now or uh, you still like kind of still bothers you or? no nothing bothers me I'm unbothered I don't care anymore like That's fuck good. at the end of the That's day good. I choose to believe like it is what it is you mm-hmm. know what I mean I have it fucking tatted on my arm the marathon continues this too shall pass like you know what I nice. mean because I like to live like that and honestly like I choose, like, I, I'm the type of person I overreact. Like, I'll get upset. Like, I have a temper on me, and I'll get sad, all that shit, you know what I mean? So I choose to, like, right now, I'm trying to put myself in a space where it's like, fuck it. It happens if it happens, and it doesn't if it doesn't, and life goes on. Nice. Shit. What, totally. about, what about the totally. French um, the French background? How did you learn about that? Because you got a French song, and it's mixing with a little bit of Spanish or something like that? Yes. yes. Yeah, How the hell? That is my trilingual song. Yes, yes so we love that song. Where did you learn French from? Um, uh, well, it, it's complicated shit. I mean, my grandpa is kind of a gallus. So the man... <laughs> hey! <laughs> yes! Shout out, grandpa. Yes! Yeah, he just actually turned 83. So That's big up, up to grandpa. Yes, Happy sir. birthday, grandpa. Happy birthday. Uncle Colin, we all love you. And um, shit, yeah, no, he had a girlfriend at the time that was from France. She's a translator. We love her. She's awesome. She's still like a second grandma to me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like, she just honestly used to speak to me in French. And then like, I picked up a one, two words. And when I was like three, four, I was like, bonjour, comment ça va? And my mom was like, what the fuck? That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Let's put her in French. Mm-hmm. So then my mom put me in French immersion and I picked it up. And then I got kicked out of school, so I didn't actually ever finish my French, but I, I'm just good with languages, so really I good. kept it going, you know? Oh. What other language do you speak? I, th- I actually only speak French. Like, I speak French fluently, and mm-hmm. then there's other languages, just because I have, like, a good understanding of language, yeah. I, I can, like, pick up on stuff, you know what I mean? That's good. That's mm-hmm. really good. That's I'm good. I'm blessed. I thank That's my grandpa so for that one still. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I was like, listen, what? if you have mm-hmm. old Gallus and I, your family, make sure you learn from them. Yo, okay. if there's anything to learn, you take it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Trust me. Can't just hate the Gallus. Yeah. Where, where'd you get this drive from because you don't see a lot of people like that especially if not to diss but like no not girls from western road no different languages and musically influenced like where did that drive come <laughs> from like where did you get funny. that from i don't know my mom i mean shit like my mom had it really bad you know what i mean like she was just she didn't have it really bad like we always had it all right but like just the way that everything was like 
laid out for us was kind of hard like my mom actually i was conceived in england like my mom and my dad met in england and because my she was over there doing her pilates instructors like and everything nice. and trying to like learn how to teach classes and everything Culture. she just left thailand she was mm-hmm. really on a roll you know mm-hmm. and then she met my dad this fucking slime ball i'm sorry dad i love you but this guy's a fucking slime ball the man has two Honesty girlfriends is, right now like Honesty don't play the best policy me. real jealous tell him don't Yo, watch this man is jealous. Jealous. It's okay <laughs> he knows he knows like he knows how i feel about it so i'm just gonna put it out yeah. there he's always been on that shit you know what i'm saying i have a little brother that i think is only a few months younger than me okay and it's just like you know what i'm saying so when my mom was pregnant he kind of like just literally ditched her like on some really fuck shit because he's just like a, he can't commit to nothing mm-hmm. you know what i mean so he just fucking just was like all right well i'm not ready for a baby right now sorry and then my mom was like oh fuck this i'm gonna go back to canada because most of our family was living in canada mm-hmm. at the time and then she ended up having me here and then like even when she went to trinidad to like go and meet him like he didn't even show up the first time and like just bare just just crazy just, stuff he yeah. used to put us through you know what i'm saying and it's like it's not like my mom had a lot she was a young 25 year old woman mm-hmm. like trying to make a name for herself she was living in london doing her thing like yeah. and then she came to canada she's like fuck now i'm having a baby so like you know what i mean just watching her like overcome all the stuff she had to overcome and like always making sure that we had stuff to eat and everything that that was big for me still was it just you and your mom type of thing or was yeah you like a younger like i mean my siblings? grandpa i don't have a lot of siblings like most of my brothers live in england oh, okay i have two stepbrothers that live here with us okay and one of them like um one of them lives far away so we don't really see him another one has alcohol syndrome so i used to always spend a lot okay. of time with him and stuff too mm-hmm. and like I have a little baby brother too. So when I was like 13, my mom had a baby. And we ended up having to move to Gina Finch. And like, I just had to take care of my brother a lot. And it really put me in a place where I was like, I have to be responsible. Because like, I'm just not that type of person. I couldn't see bad stuff happen to him. And like, a lot of the situations we've been in, like, it just makes me sad. Like, you know what I mean? And I don't want to ever be in that place again so i do the best i can you're doing a very that. good job mm-hmm. yeah, talking about in those situations so that's the best good I can that's really really good that's good mm-hmm. that's all you can do yeah mm-hmm. what about what about the relationship with your pops now how's that uh he's good actually when i went to trinidad he hooked me up with some people and we did like he got me an interview on the radio over there so that was awesome and then nice. like you know, he introduced me to some music people and shit. So that was dope, actually, because he's very connected. I have to say, he is a gallus, but that did make him very connected. That's good. So you know what I'm saying? You always have to look on the bright side of a situation. Mm-hmm. And he knows everybody on the island. That's so when right. I popped up in Tobago, he made a few calls. They had my music playing on the radio. They still have it playing on the radio. Proper. They have me talking to people about doing fucking, like, performances Collabos at Carnival. T- oh, nice. Bro, oh. they have me talking about doing performances in Carnival and getting paid for it. Like, That's that was a dream of mine. And now they're talking about paying me to do that that's shit. amazing so i'm what? like ugh, i'm so happy like how ugh. was the experience and i don't know if i'm jumping ahead of your questions here guts but i have no, a quick question think, how was your experience doing a video in tobago versus doing your videos here keep on talking stop that show oh it was actually really difficult like okay. Because, yeah, like, I met a videographer, and he said he was down to do it, and he gave me a good price and everything. You met him, like, there? or I met him there. Okay. But my family was like, nah, your cousin does that. No, ever use your family to do nothing. Shit, man. They just always want to just be, like... (sighs) Family want to be involved. I I don't see them very often. I feel you. I feel you. Like, I don't really get to travel that often. For a long time, I couldn't even travel. So, Mm -hmm. like, now that I can travel and stuff, it's like, I wanted to make sure that I was getting on a good foot with them, but, like... If they wanted to take control, I'm like, honestly, I'm down to work with you guys. And I understand it. Giving up an opportunity You know what I mean? I wanted to give them an opportunity to put their name out there because I know I get a good amount of views, especially for compared to what, like, the views that they're getting and stuff. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? So always I'm down to help out. But then it just turned into a really big thing, like... I don't know, like, they were late every day, and, like, one day she, like, the literally the day we were supposed to go, my cousin decided, like, went off island for a steel pan competition, and good for her, she made it really far in the steel pan con- competition, we love you, Sandira, but, like, you know we what I'm saying, you, big girl. up Trinidad yeah, yeah, and Tobago, yeah. you know uh, what I mean, uh, we're yeah, one of the yeah, only yeah. Tobago, like, um, groups, like, most of the co- groups are from Trinidad and stuff, right, that's so it's good. big that we made it really far. But it was like, fam, why are you going to tell me this day you can do it if you're going away for the weekend for yeah. steel pan competition? Don't right. tell me that. Exactly. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm all ready and I had it ready to go and I'm like, okay, fine. I'm going to use a v- different videographer. And they're like, no, 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 just wait. But then they were late two days in a row. Bunch of 
fucking fuck shit. I had to pick up the next videographer. I thought it was just going to be her. Mm -hmm. Turned out it was a different videographer. Then he tried to call me into giving him a lot of money that he did not deserve. I'm like, my nigga, most of the shit is fucking shaky anyway. I'm not giving you that much money. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it's not good quality, I yeah. can't, like, go out of my pocket and give you fucking a yeah. few racks for no reason. Exactly. Like, are you crazy? That Like, at the end of the day, I have other shit I could be spending my money on. Exactly. Don't try to play me right now. Because mm -hmm. I know just because I'm in Canada and they think, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm like, my people back home don't even deal with me like that. And mm -hmm. I'm, I don't even want you to edit it. I have a sick videographer at home that I want to edit it. Right. And I have to keep some, like, I have to pay him a certain budget. Like, don't fuck with me right mm -hmm. now. Sorry to cut you. This is for uh, the Dale video. Yeah. That, that, that's so what I was, the fucking I was just yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to know what the difference was with doing your video in, like, another country versus doing that it That was in, the difference. That's crazy. So did you like the outcome, though? Like, did it, 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 did it turned out so nice, though. I, I love like, the song, it the so video. Good. It's fire. amazing. But also, I'll talk to you again behind the scenes. Did you, like, it felt like you didn't get the right promo because it did come out um, COVID time, and it just felt like you didn't yeah. get that right push on it that you wanted Definitely. to get. Because that's a big freaking tune, bro. Like, Yo, that's honestly, a radio play song to it me. It is. And I really, like, you know, and I'm, I, I, I was upset about the way that it came out. I wasn't, like, super happy with it. But honestly, it is what it is. It's a sick song, and anybody, like, I have more shit coming out just now. Yeah. And, like, I know, like, I've been talking to some people that are big in the industry and stuff, and they've been, like, shedding some light on what they think I should be doing and what the next moves are. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really that upset. Like, at the end of the day, I did what I did. It was super, like, last minute. A lot of stuff was happening. COVID was happening. And honestly, I wasn't, like, you know what I mean? Like, I had expectations for the song, but I can't really be upset. Like, I feel like... It's geared me up for everything that I'm about to do. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And everything I'm about to do is going to be that much harder, you know? I've written some really fire songs. I'm getting ready to put out, like, three different EPs. Oh, nice. Like, I just want to have them all ready so that when I'm ready to lay them out, I can promote them, make sure everything's ready all at once. Because I have, like, a hundred songs recorded, and I need to get them out before mm -hmm. I freaking lose my mind. Like, I, I need the world to hear the shit. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm like, you guys don't even know my best songs are not even released yet. What the hell? Like, what I appreciate is that you want to put your music out. Oh, I love putting music out. There's a lot of people that put like record music, mm -hmm. and they're putting, they record music for it as an outlet yeah. and that's not a bad thing i think that if music can be your outlet and you can like get how you feel out on like paper or if you can record it or whatever all the more power to you but the fact that you want to put your music out more amazing I think yeah that's music great. is my outlet but also every song i make is fire so i feel like i have no choice but to really say you know i, what like I mean that. like good. i just can't help it i have really good roots like i'm yeah. really like multicultural and i mm -hmm. like come from a lot of different areas so i feel like i can relate to a lot of people especially like being biracial like it's weird i've stepped into like two different like worlds you know what i mean because i've gone and lived with my family in tobago and used a bucket to shower like you know what i mean yeah. and stayed in huts and shit but i've also gone to england and seen like some super rich people and i'm like whoa this is crazy like right? you guys live like this why am i living <laughs> in jenna finch if you fucking people live like this yeah you know what i mean sure. like why am i in a basement right now with my uncles and my mom and my brother and my stepdad and his little brother and ray tate when yeah. you guys are living in big house with fucking hillside with horses in the backyard and shit you know what i mean exactly Exactly. Oh my god, okay. I've seen both sides, you yeah. know, it's hard, it's, but it's cool because I get to like step into different categories. Yep. I feel like good. with the music, I like that. Mm. That's what good. about consistency? Do you feel like there's a problem with consistency with females? Because I, like, I don't see a consi uh, consistency, consistency problem with you per se, but I feel like females in Toronto have a consistency problem, yeah, for sure. Still. I feel like it's everywhere. I don't feel like it's just Toronto. I feel like it's no, I, yeah. don't think, I don't think other females have consistency problems. I just Ooh. think that they're not, prom I just think they're not, I feel like out they just there, don't really give their that, all to it. Like, a lot of them just aren't putting their all into it. Like, they don't realize that it's a 24-hour fucking job. Like, me, when I started music, I didn't realize that it was going to be every single day I have to be focused on my music. Like, every single day. I, th I thought it was going to be a part-time gig. But when you start doing it, and if you really want to take it seriously, it's not a part-time gig. Because there's so much more behind it. Like, you know what I mean? There's always people to meet. There's always places you need to be so you can make sure that your name is out there. Like, there's always stuff. Because yeah, it's not easy. Work, like, you're not just going to blow up overnight like magic. Like... If you had to give a 15-year-old advice that wants to break into the game right now, what would you tell her? Honestly, what I would tell you from right now, if you're 15, go and get a job. Mm -hmm. Go and get a job right now. Don't waste your time on no fuck shit because if you get a fucking record, it's going to be hard for you. You're not going to be able to leave the country. And don't sell your fucking self because you're worth more than that. Mm -hmm. And... You know what I mean? Go get a job. Save up your money from right now. And then when you're 18, really start pushing yourself because you're not going to be able to like get the big shows and stuff that you want either way until then. So right now, focus on your little YouTube. Do whatever it is. You know, make a TikTok and really get your name out there. Make a big profile on social media. And then when you're 18 and you have some freedom and you have a little money, maybe get into like 
go to college and get into some type of like management or something course so that you know the business and you're not being screwed over by people because when you're a girl female especially people want to screw you over they don't think of you like a boss you know what i'm saying they look at you different and they want to take advantage of you so like fucking save your money and try and get educated and then fucking go as hard as you can (laughs) you know what i'm saying (laughs) a hundred percent I just want to ask a quick question because th- that you're mentioning that, right? Um, mm. not, not to jump in. No, no, go ahead. Right? Mm-hmm. But you deal with the um, Abstract Learning Institute. Yeah. Have you gotten a lot of that information from that institute as well? Um, they didn't tell me that per se, but they have helped me a lot with like just learning about the business and understanding just like the little things that like are hard. Like they've always advised me the right way. Like I know that when I'm doing something, if I'm signing a contract, I need a lawyer mm-hmm. and I don't want to get a cheap lawyer. My lawyer is like a, a good lawyer. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Cause you want to make sure that you're not signing away your life. Actually shout out Diallo. It's his dad hey. is an amazing lawyer. Entourage. Oh my God. Shout Entourage. out Miro Obala. If you ever need a sick entertainment lawyer, you need to holler at him cause he's been dealing me right recently and okay. he's been helping me nice. through a lot of stuff because i've been working really with some people good. that are signing to sony and they're sending me like fucking 10 page contracts you know what i'm saying and you can't just read that because it's not in a lingo that you would understand it's mm-hmm. not written like regular english it's like bylaws and shit it's crazy so you need to like always make sure that everything is like really smart make sure all your moves are smart yeah, and that everything's really thought out fun. Oh, you have to be. Can you tell me more about the abstract abs- abstract mm-hmm. learning? We love abstract learning. Mm-hmm. They're amazing. So yeah, abstract learning actually really helped me step into my career because um, I wasn't really gonna take my music anywhere. Like at the time when I put out my first track, I was like, What was your first track? It was Don Dada. Dada, I'm like, yeah, what up? You a fraud? Shut up, get the coke cut up. They're like, damn, Nina, why you so mean? Cause my ops pressing watching. I didn't put it out onto streaming platforms. I only had a video for it. I was on some super hood shit. I was like, let's put out a video, nigga. I was like, I was on some completely other shit at the time. I was going through some shit. I was fucking like trying to stay low key because like I had like a fucking bench warrant I was trying to stay away from. And like, so when I put out that video, it was like a different time in my life. And like, it was just like, I'm going to put this out because I wanted to make a video and I wanted to like drop a song. And like I just lost one of my best friends on my grandma, so I felt like I needed to drop the song rest that I recorded case, that was yeah, like a tribute, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, rest in peace. So I did that. And then I felt really good about it. It actually got a lot of views. I think that video has my most views. It has like yeah. a lot of views. I was I'm so I'm confused go by that I'm video. Go watch it. Cause it's literally just me like in the hood, like in a staircase with my fucking Asian brethren because Bow. he was just that he's just that guy, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Love that, that video is actually yeah. hilarious. That's what's up. That oh my shit. god, they love the hood shit. It's That's actually too funny, you know what I'm saying? That's a set though. But like, yeah, mm-hmm. no, that I didn't take it serious. And then all of a sudden, Abstracts was like, like actually not. I, they didn't even reach out to me. Like what happened was like this girl fucking went on the internet and was talking bare shit about me. So no one wanted to fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? And then I went to bare fucking engineers and I messaged them on the gram and I'm like, yo fam, can I come record? I have my dollar straight, whatever. I'm down to pull up whenever. Just give me a time, like midnight, two o'clock in the morning. I don't give a fuck. I'm there, you know what I mean? And all of them were like, yeah, yeah, sounds good. And then they never talked back to me, you know what I mean? So hold- So how did- Wow. Okay, Sorry. Hold on. Wait. Sidebar. So hold on. She black? Bald you kind of yeah funny. this girl fucking really tried to blackball me a lot but then somebody messaged me and they're like yo i know someone and they're really sick but they're fucking st- like their spot is in up top it's in shoreham and i'm like honestly i'm gonna pull up but i'm gonna make sure i have one of my men with me so i brought my brethren there because i was like he made the beat that i had the song on and i know he's like writing for me mm-hmm. if anything happens you know what i'm saying because i'm not really from those ends but um this guy freaking came with me and it was lit it was perfect like still we met up with ante who's like the main engineer for abstract learning mm-hmm. and uh he set it up proper still he recorded me we recorded um potion the first time we met don't quit now don't quit baby don't quit come on get that mate that bell wet breakfast in bed because i put you on bed rest and that song's a banger too that was the first song that i ever dropped on like streaming platforms and stuff and it's like, it's not really a radio song. It's a sex song, but it's out here and it's super hey, dope. Uncut, I'm going to drop uncut, Potion uncut. Part 2. I like, I like that. You love so that shit, Yeah, <laughs> what do you so mean? So is that, is that the point where you took it serious? Is that well, kind of. I don't know. Like, well, I started working with him and then he was like, hey, this is awesome, but your song has no arrangement. And I was like, what do you mean my song has no arrangement? My song's fucking dope. Listen to that shit. It sounds fire. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, it sounds good, but it has no arrangement. And I was like, oh, Okay. 
like what do you want to do with it and he was like no nah, this song's good we'll release this song but i think you should come to our songwriting course and you should learn more about how to write properly so because you could really be amazing mm -hmm. and i was like okay i guess i'll come and then i paid like i think it was like three bills or something mm -hmm. i paid to go to the course and he read they were like and i was like still on that shit truck of fucking like staying low-key and shit mm -hmm. so i was like in a bad spot and um it was good like he saw i was taking it serious and like it was funny because i kind of talked so like about some shits too like i was like honestly i don't even have the money to be taking bear of your courses because i was really just not in a good spot at all you know and they were like honestly we think we want to manage you and help you like record some videos and stuff and i was just like whoa are you crazy like i've been going through so much shit recently like just my life was like I was just going through the most and mm -hmm. then I had some people trying to blackball me and I just had like every like everything that could be going wrong like was going wrong and I didn't even do anything to deserve it you know what I mean yeah. like I was just trying to be a like a regular person you just you trying to go saying? by your day to day I'm just doing me <laughs> right. I'm just out here chilling with my friends mm -hmm. and then tutus I'm just like fucking getting snaked you know what I mean right so it was weird, but nah, it was all good. It ended up working out because I ended up meeting abstracts and then we like, they stepped me in the right direction. So now I'm like making sure that like I'm focused on the music and like treating it as a business, you know? I hear that. Um, yeah. I gotta ask, man. Obviously the situation with her, you know, we don't have to say her name because people obviously know. Yeah. Is it a fixable situation or is it like, nah? Like, could you guys actually, have you guys... Sorry. I don't know. Wait, I don't mean it like that. But I was like, I was like, it's, I, we're talking about the same person. If I think, I, if I think, we're talking about yo, I'm all about peace. I'm all about peace. I know you, know, you are. I, I asked Jeezy Lo the, the same I thing. Know. So I'm just, I'm just wondering if there's ever a possibility. It doesn't have to be now, but maybe five years down the line. Both of you guys, your mindset is different. Your careers are different. It doesn't even have to be you guys working together. Because even if you did, I think now that'd be fucking amazing. But even if it's a just sit down and it's just like, yo whatever do you think like it's dead like it's dead or, it's dead is, it, and we're or good. is it is like, dead like this is not happening honestly like i don't really have the time to sit around and be mad at people so like it is what it is but nah i would never step down that path never in my life set up thing is always going to be a setup thing and i don't need to get set up again i hear that mm -hmm. i hear that i'm not trying to be stupid you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. at the end of the day the best thing to do is just not be dumb mm -hmm. and i'm not trying to be dumb and step into a trap if i know it's a trap so i'd rather stay clear of any traps just mind my business that's it <laughs> straight up mm -hmm. nah that's it that's no, all no, I'm, I'm literally like, no. I was like I'm not stepping into like no, no that's traps, good fam. that's good that's a good ass that. answer Staying um what are the biggest setbacks for females in a rap game do you feel being a female <laughs> 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 that is it just being a female yeah, that's, that's what do you like, what, what do you more think? can you be more like i i, I don't know like just because specific. everybody wants like okay it depends on the type of female that you are okay if you're coming out here looking like young ma i'm sure you still have problems but you don't really have the same problems but like being a female is hard because like especially if you, you're an attractive female and you have certain assets like people just want to fuck like everyone and like it's not like like i'm not a working thing i'm not trying to fuck everyone you know what i'm saying i'm just trying to mind my business and make my dollars discreetly you know what i mean and people be like like i meet rappers and they're like oh what are you saying i can make you the next cardi b da da da, da. i'm like nigga honestly i don't have time for that i don't care what you think you could do for me because i'm doing it myself like you know what i mean but it's just fucking like it feels really under like mining yep. when people approach you like that and really treat you like you're just like something they could just, just like, like a sex slave like bitch i'm not your fucking toy you can't pick me up use me and drop me and go like this is my like this is your livelihood this, this is, is your life like, and career and this, this is, is a business that yeah. i'm really trying to take seriously okay. so don't approach me like it's a joke like you know what i'm saying because mm -hmm. i know i'm more talented than a lot of niggas when they approach me and then they try and approach me like there's something that i'm not and then it's funny because i'm like yeah okay you have how many followers but your fucking lyrics are garbage fam you're just an entertainer yes, you know what i mean I i'm like, tired of that shit you're I was an entertainer like, you guys is literally are whack and you these girls are eating your food be like I nah, don't know. like a lot of niggas are just entertainers i was like you're eating these, I'm like sorry you're eating stuff. you're eating a lot of these guys mm -hmm. food like, like honestly you're actually putting in is there somebody that you want to work with that you haven't like worked with yet from Toronto first 
I don't know. <laughs> there's a few people that I kind of want to work with, but I don't really know because there's just so much politics in Toronto. Fuck you know what I'm saying? Politics, oh, yeah, like at the end of the I mean, day, it has to be about the music. Like you have to be able to come together and say, "Yo, well, fam, I have this track. Put your verse on nah, this, and let's make you. these dollars." Like, <laughs> I have a song actually that I think I'm gonna try. Well, not try. I have a song that I think I'm gonna put Roni on because I won the competition Ooh. he was doing. I saw that you were on the yeah. remix. That, that yeah, yeah. That was, and it's funny because yeah. he messaged me and he's like, "Yo, you should try and do a little freestyle for this. I bet you'd like crush it." And I was like, "I fuck." Like he was my favorite rapper growing up when I was like in grade nice. six <laughs> and I like was fucking on my fucking little mini grungy and I thought it was so bad oh god I thought it was so bad it's embarrassing how bad I thought I was but whatever I was listening to Baroni you know what I'm saying did I shoot a, vid- a video for that or no uh, the mismatch thing? Mm, no we never shot a video for it and I'm disappointed I'm sad we totally should have because that would have been fire but I'm gonna mm-hmm. fucking ask him I'm gonna try and make him come and shoot a video with me for the song I wanna drop nice. on fire right now yo he's on fire he's sick hey, he's that's a good been. one though that's, yo, that's he a was, good one Growing up, okay. like I used to listen to Baroni, and I remember when he went to jail, I was like, "Fuck yeah!" I wanted to rap a song with him still, because at the time I was like a freestyle rapper, and I was getting in bare battles. Like, I like with Jana Weston. I used to go to Urban Arts, so I was like battling like all the random, you know what nice. I mean? And used to always win. Like it was magic. Like one nigga never came back to the studio because he was so embarrassed because this little fucking girl, like I was like twelve or something, fucking embarrassed him like Shame. three times in a row, and he was just like, Does "Oh my god!" Now? Does he rap now? I don't know what he's doing. Now. I ain't never heard of him. Uh-huh. <laughs> I embarrassed that guy. Oh well. <laughs> So on, let's take it back a little bit because you said like in grade six you were listening to Roni. I was like, we're, we're so this going is why I was just like, right yeah, now. like what were you listening to growing up? Like I asked you back. Oh in the yeah, day, what was like, I listening so to? So I used to listen to Baroni. Honestly, um, I like fucking TNT. Like not the new ones, although those girls are tough. They do their things, but you know, like sick thoughts. They, um, shout out, sorry to cut yeah. you. The they alumni, just we were just here. We just interviewed them on one day. Say word, yo. Yeah. I used to listen to one to their track still. I'm not gonna lie, because they used to focus on the man and the fuck with like the people. My stepdad and stuff used to bring me around, you know. Mm-hmm. So I used to listen to some of their music, and then I used to listen to like different shit like I used to listen to Amy Winehouse like, wow yeah. I love Amy Winehouse like I remember when she died I walked into the house and everybody in my house like my grandpa used to be alcoholic so it was kind of like a party house mm. and I walked in and there was just bare drunk people and they were all fucking sad and I just remember like feeling like oh my god something's wrong what happened and I asked them and they're like Amy Winehouse died and it was like the biggest thing and I just remember being so sad about it and like I feel like yeah I used to listen to a lot of her music I used to have a Walkman and my mom used to go to work downtown and I, she used to bring me there and I used to have to sit outside the class because she's a Pilates instructor at the gym um, back when they used to have extreme fitness and I used to have the Walkman I used to listen to fucking Alicia Keys mm. I used to listen to the Beatles what's your, sorry oh, nice. to cut you what's your yes. favorite Alicia Keys album I don't know that's I don't know I really don't know. We'll put a pin in yeah. that one. I really don't know. You said the Beatles. <laughs> I used to listen to a lot of the Beatles still because my grandparents are British. Yeah. So just growing up, I would always, like, my grandpa would always sing me, like, British songs, and my uncle would always sing to me. My middle name's Michelle. So he also used to sing me, Michelle, yeah. my belle, yeah. it's only mo. Yeah, yeah, and I then, know that one. and it's also a French song, yeah. which is why I kind of, I feel like I loved <laughs> the French growing up, you know? Nice. And then, yeah, so I always used to have that influence, and then once I found, like, a, a record and I played it and it was the Beatles and it was just it really got me and then I just always listen to it like when I'm sad let it be is my track and I don't give a fuck like that's I'm listening true, to that song you know that's what I mean go, that's your go to mm-hmm. yeah but track. then I also used to listen to like the game in 50 Cent I was kind of all over the place I don't know that's okay I was like everywhere I was eclectic just, I like that I like I've that I've been that girl that's just like even the way I record my music is the same way because mm-hmm. I used to listen to like Bear Vibes Cartel too like I remember mm-hmm. I used to like have like a Vibes Cartel day like and very popcorn like naughty girl yeah. used to be my track what do you mean like the only one okay. she want oh yeah. my god all of those songs I like that song so, Gaza Slim shout out Gaza Slim <laughs> <laughs> yo that used to be my dad talk to the world be like, oh and on, don't fam. forget Biggie Smalls before we get off this topic yes topic, no for sure Biggie Smalls 100 my uncle used to play me that shit and for some reason it was just like the best thing ever like his cadence always got to me mm-hmm. and whenever I rap now I always try and think about him and like think about his cadence because like at the end of the day he could just miss just like oh my god I can't even say it like he could just make everything sound so sick like it doesn't matter how grimy what he's saying mm-hmm. is he just makes it sound fire like you amazing. know amazing mm-hmm. amazing I Can you give that us a, like, sure. would you would you be able to give us like a top six top three I don't know artists of all time for you I don't know. Right? I was like, I don't know. I was like, I don't even know. Okay, so we might have to put Eartha Kit up there because I feel like she kind of changed the game. Mm. And we love Eartha Eartha Kit. You don't know who Eartha Kit is? Boy, do your research. Eartha Kit. Um, She's the old, she's the original Catwoman. The original Catwoman. Oh, from. um, She was hard. I want to be a lady. She's like, she used to sing this song. 
the first audition I ever did to get into like a musical or anything at school was her song. And it was like, it's called Old Fashioned Millionaire. Okay. Can you give us a piece? What? Give you a piece. Okay, I don't know if I remember it. Let's try it. Um, I want an old fashioned house with an old fashioned fence and an old fashioned millionaire. I like the old fashioned flowers. Violets are for me. Have them made in diamonds by the man at Tiffany's. Cool, no? Yeah. Cool, no? <laughs> yeah. That was a fight. big bang. She's so I'm in hey. We love her. Shout out to my no, she's grandma. She's so, RIP. She's fine. Yeah, she's got some more fires in there. I just wanted everyone to hear me just sing it. I was like, what yes, girl. No, yes. it's not a cap. This is an auto tune. We do this. No, this is real. <laughs> this is real, fam. She goes ready. I always try to tell them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that was one. Okay, <laughs> I want a freestyle. I got you. Yeah. So okay, anytime you're ready, the mic is in front of you. Take it. Just don't take off. It's okay. No, but you have to battle me because I need the inspiration. You need to say nope, something rude so I can get mad at you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then let's go. I hear you. <laughs> that's the time I it is. I hear that. But not, um, I don't know. So then after that, I'd probably, yeah, I'd have to put Biggie because I just love his cadence. Like, okay. there's just something about it. And then after that... I don't know, right now, one of my favorites, ultimate favorites, since he, like, always, since I was, like, 16 and I was on some shit, I just always loved Nipsey Hussle. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. Yeah, but they just passed as well. Leo yeah, gang. you know what I'm saying? Leo Gang. August, still, I have August his shit born. tatted still. Yeah, I love it. August born, I can't. Bro. It's We're just something about bro. him is so motivational. Like, it's so something. So motivational. Because, like, he's just so motivational. Like, I could just remember feeling so down, and then I listen to a Nipsey track, and I'm like, fuck, I can do this. I just have to fucking work on it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, bro. just put the work in. So that'll yeah, be your yeah. top three? I feel like maybe that's my top three. I don't know though. It, it probably switches during, depending on the day. Most definitely. You know what I mean? I 100% that. it changes on the day for me because, like, yeah, that's just the type of person that I am. <laughs> Do you, sorry. Ah, uh, shit, nah. Do you get conflicted making music because, like, you're, you're talented with both ways? You can rap, you can sing. You kind of get conflicted on what you want to do, and you probably have people in your ear, like, no, you should sing. No, 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 you should probably spit. Like, yeah that's the worst honestly so i have like so many people and they comment on my shit and stuff and they message me and they're like oh my god you should just rap you're so much better when you rap oh my god you should just sing you sound so much better when you sing oh my god this is my favorite song i love this song you should make more songs that sound like this song but i have an equal amount for like every song just everybody likes something different mm-hmm. so honestly i think i'm doing the right thing right now because mm-hmm. not everybody's gonna love every single song that i put out because they are all so different but at the end of the day everybody that i've showed my music when they go through my shit they're like oh i you have this song and i fucking love this song and mm-hmm. i haven't even put out all the stuff i'm ready to put out yet you know what i mean so right now that means at least that i have something for everyone mm-hmm. you know what i mean That's and then true. i have my bilingual true. stuff so i can even step into like different countries in like europe and africa like you mm-hmm. know what i mean and really try and get that sound worldwide do you know that, nice. That's do the that. goal. don't stick to this Hip hop American. Nah, I'm not like, trying to be no Toronto rapper forever, yeah, still. No, I can't be. So not even just Toronto artists. Like, don't stick to like the everyday mainstream. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't Definitely go to not. Don't get that, bro. There's so much dollars, euros, and yens. Yeah, and all there's that euros, there's all that shit. And I have bare euros? family all over the world, exactly. you know? So it's like, don't, I definitely want to get involved. That's so good. Like, but even right now, I'm working with people that make EDM music in freaking New York. EDM. So I'm just nice. like gearing up. I'm sad I can't, like, I could travel, but I'm not really trying to do the whole isolation thing. So I'm gonna do that later, but I'm excited. Mm-hmm. How did you link up with Black of the Dawn? Gotta stay alive, gotta show them how to live. Let's go. Watch me grow like a garden and raise up. It's a- um, I met him at a video shoot a long time ago. And then we never really talked or anything. It was like a hi, what's up, hi, what's up. But then I guess he seen me on Instagram and he saw my music and he was like, yo, she's doing pretty good. So then he hollered at me and he wanted me on the track. And I, I was like, what? Like it was a conscious type of track. He basically just sent it to me though and was like, do a hook. And I was like, okay, I'm down still, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I needed the like publicity at the time. I was like, fuck, I only had like a few thousand followers. I was like, I need more than this. We need to get out there. Mm-hmm. So it seemed like a good way to do that. And then I was like working with him. He was super awesome. He took the verse I did. I didn't have to change it or nothing. It was what it was. It sounded good. It's so good. We, it worked it, well with what you, he did. Do you guys did it in the booth or? No, he emailed it to or? me and I did it at my studio. I did it in Shoreham still. Oh, <laughs> nice. oh okay, yeah. proper. And mm-hmm. then you shot the video as well, right? Mm-hmm. We shot the How video in Toronto. It was good. Okay. Mm-hmm. It was good. Listen, you, that song was good. I yeah, that's a lot. dope song. Also, I forgot about that song. The song was good. Though. Yeah, I like that song a lot. Do you have any nope. other features or anything in the bag right now, or? Not really. I or actually, I have a feature that I'm gonna be coming on a song still. You're on someone else's song. Yeah, but hey. it, it's exclusive. I'm Can so we? Embarrassed. No, we can't talk about. I think it. her name is Martina. Martina. Oh, okay. I'm so bad, bro. I'm so it's bad. It's okay. I've been working with so many people recently that it's just hard for me to keep them all in the 
pot, especially if I haven't met them in person yet. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. some of these people, I just meet them over the internet. Their management reaches out to my management, mm-hmm. and they want to do a song, so I record it, and then I just send it to them. And if they like, if they're paying, obviously, and then if they're not paying, I don't send it. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the way like, it goes. Bro, See what I'm saying? Way. But yeah, no, she's a dope artist. Still, mm-hmm. she's a girl that sings the Canadian anthem. I really have to try and jot her name in some memories, but I think it's Martina. Yeah. But that song will come out, and it's actually dope. So I'm not the post about that nice. one so the people can know nice <laughs> good i was like i like that you're collaborating with different people so that's really good i like, do my best yeah. still i just yeah. i just realized honestly like i feel like i'm just like i don't deserve to work like i feel like i deserve to work and be paid and a lot of people want to work with me for free and like that's really awesome that they want to work with me i appreciate always that you think i'm talented enough that you want to like actually work with me and mm-hmm. have me on your song but at the end of the day like I can't do it if I'm not getting paid. Like, yeah, a like fact is a fact. I need like, to get paid because yeah. it costs money going into the studio, right? And mm-hmm. like, if like, I always need to cover that. Like, I if you can't cover that, at least th- then you can't work with me. Mm-hmm. Straight. <laughs> That's dope. That's facts, dope. yo. Those are real um, things. Last few questions before we get uncut. Hey. You were mm-hmm. talking about your art page and your food page. I do have both of those. Yes. So I I seen those. I checked those out. Um, I want to get into the art one first because I see like that's another talent that you have. Have mm-hmm. you ever like sold a painting or anything like that? Yeah, I have still. Oh, yeah. yeah? <laughs> what was the highest you went? It went for or highest painting. It didn't go sold? for very high. Honestly, I haven't even started selling paintings yet. I'm looking at some spots like for um like galleries and stuff where mm-hmm. I can put them. I found a cafe that's really dope that I want to start getting yes. them into soon. Mm-hmm. Like now that phase three is starting to happen. But um, it didn't go for that high. I was like thirteen. I think I sold it for a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars is a lot of money, fam. Well, I was dollars, like thir- fam. Nah, it's not that much. I can make more. Hundred dollars is a lot of money. I'm not here to make more <laughs> stuff. Sure you I'm can buy a hundred dollars. I'm trying to sell more stuff. I'm trying to sell more stuff. That's not like enough. Bucks. Stop this. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of money, b. Come yeah, on. still, I sold it for a hundred dollars. It was dope. Still, imagine yeah. if you listen. If you have five paintings, you made fifty dollars. You made five hundred dollars. Look mm. at that. Where's it, where where did that come from? Hmm? Like the whole drawing, like. I can't draw for shit, so I don't know, like, how, like, you just started drawing one day, and you're just like, fuck, I'm just dope at it, just continue, and, start, I don't know it's, and it's a passion, because I see you just, you just do it, like, you just... I didn't have cable growing up. Are That's you doing, it. like, portraits, or are you doing, like, abstract? It depends on the day. It depends on the day still. I do all kinds of stuff. I could do a portrait still. It might not look exactly like you, but fuck, I'll work on it. I haven't really mastered my portraits yet, but I haven't really worked on them as much because I like just drawing like people in my mind. Yes. Because yeah. I, like I have really lucid dreams, you know? Very I abstract. Give, I like that a lot. We're going to give her some change? Get her to get a yeah. six views oh, one. Don't worry, I got you. I've already thought about that. I got you. That'd, That'd be dope. That's I love it. Yeah. 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 I was like, all right, I yeah. yeah. had it in my head. I was like, look at them. They're supporting the hustle, guys. guys. Don't worry. We love it. I like I like, I like Foodie art. Foodie thing, too. Mm-hmm. I'm a freaking food head. I, me, too. I love food. Like, Honestly, bro, if there's that's food, my I'm there. I'm trying to go get some food after this. What kind of, right? What kind of food? What's your go-to? Honestly, my favorite thing is pasta, and especially because I grew up with my little baby brother, and we'd always have some sort of pasta noodle in the house and yeah. onions. Mm-hmm. So I could, make make it, it. <laughs> I could always make something happen. I could always make something happen. If we had cream, then it's gonna be a cream sauce. If we don't have cream, it's okay because I'll pull out some tomatoes. We always plant tomatoes, so I'll always have something at mm-hmm. least basil. What she she Bro, she can't make do where do is there. So we do it all. But, like, is that your go-to? Like, if you're having a great day, are you making pasta? Yeah, I'm probably, but it depends day? on the kind of day. And if I'm having a bad day, I'm making mac and cheese for sure. Bow. Bow. Like, are like you crazy? Like, jalapeno like, mac and cheese from yes, scratch, I always. I make a bechamel. <laughs> I put the cheese on top. Yeah, yeah, I do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. What about okay. sweets? Sweet. I like sweets. I make cupcakes. I make cakes. I'm Yo, um, anything. Make I make too? weed brownies that are so good. Oh, my God. You <laughs> so, guys don't know about my weed brownies. So, put good. that into the package as well with the painting. A lie. <laughs> <laughs> Just like just throw just that just in there. That yeah. happens. So, yeah, 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 my yeah. partner with the edibles. We do this. If you oh, ever nice. need a chocolate bar or a gummy, you can holla. We got yeah, like I, I wish I would have known this. I would have came. I would have promised you. It's okay. Now you, you know. So Sorry, I should have told you, but okay. I didn't even talk to you guys. No, it's okay. Now we're here. Now we're talking. It's okay. I promise you, I followed you. Bro, the sun is hot. The sun is on me. I know. It moved over. You know. I'm so happy that I'm sitting over here. You're right, lucky. So <laughs> I moved. That's how'd, what it was. I was like, yeah, it's gonna that? shift. It, it, it was getting to me too. But um, let's get into this uncut. 